This chapter is about how to create a light library on T1 console, then how to patch. Let's take this part light as an example. This is the channel table of part light. Click light library editor. Click new. Enter the light library editing page. We really need to set these three items. Library name, model, manufacturer. Click next library name. Input part light. Click enter. Click next to model. Enter the number of channels of the fixture here. For example, this part light has eight channels. Click next to manufacturer. We can set this part as well. For example, MJ. Click module management at the top. Then click at multiple rows below. Let's set eight. Each channels have been successfully added. Click below attribute. Click set attributes at the bottom of the screen. Click dim. The corresponding column on the left will automatically fill in the dimmer attribute. The second channel of fixture is red. Click on the red in the color category. The third channel is green. Click on the green in the color category. The fourth channel is blue. Click on the blue in the color category. The fifth channel is white. Click on the white in the color category. The sixth channel is shutter. Click on the shutter in the dimming category. The seventh channel is auto walk. The eighth channel is auto walk speed. Click on the auto walk in the control category. Click on the auto walk speed in the control category. Click set attributes again to turn off this window. Next, let's set the channel's parameter. First, locate value. Click below locate value. Click set up in the bottom red corner of the screen. Let's set 255 maximum value. At this time, we select the fixture. Click locate button and the light will come out. Slide our finger to select the locate value of this color channel. Click set up in the bottom red corner of the screen. Let's set 255 maximum value. If the locate value of this color channel is 255, the light coming out is white light. Click save. Prompt. Save successfully. Click open. This is the light library we just created. How to patch it? This part light address code is a 500. The signal cable of this fixture is connected to the upper port of one of the console. Click setup. Click patch. Click add light fixture. Click below fixture type. So in the power light library we just created in this list. Click below ID. Select the blank position for I, D. Click below count. Let's set one unit. Click below address code. Use your finger to slide the screen to find the address code 500. Click on DMX500. At this time, address code will display 1500. Click OK. Prompt patch successfully. Click fixture in the red column. Select this part light. Press locate button. Light on. Press clear clear to turn off light. The above content is about how to create a light library on the console and how to patch it. This chapter is about how to edit and move the fixture. Click on the fixture in the right column to enter the fixture interface. Shown here are the fixtures we have patched. Each grid represents a lighting fixture. The number in the upper left corner is the fixture number. The numbers in the upper right corner are the output line and address code of the fixture. For example, the second fixture is 117. Means the patch on line 1 and address code is 17. How to enter and move fixtures in this interface? Press Move button. Click on the fixture that we want to move. Click on the blank position. The fixture has been moved successfully. Press Move button. Then select the fixture we want to move. Then click on the blank position. Select Home position. Fixtures has been moved successfully. Press Move button. Then select the fixture we want to move. Then click on the blank position. Select Home position. Fixtures has been moved successfully. How to divide these 20 beam lights into the rooms? Press Move button. Then select the fixtures from 11 to 20. Then click on the blank position. Select Home position. How to edit the fixture? Such as modify it now. Press Edit button. Then select the fixture we want to edit. Enter to the fixture editing interface. Click below name. Enter the name we want to modify in the input box. Type in 380. Press enter. Name modify successfully. Close this interface. It shows the name we just modified. Press edit button. 
Then select the fixture we want to edit. Enter to the fixture editing interface. Click below image display. Click open graffiti board. We can write the name of the fixture here. For example, this is LED. Then click application. Close this interface. It shows the name and the name we just handed. Press edit button. Then select the fixture we want to edit. Click below name. Turn off display name. Close this interface. It shows only the name we just handed. The above content is about moving and editing fixture. Let's look at the graffiti board again. Press edit button. Then select the fixture we want to edit. Click below image display. Click open graffiti board. We can hold down the graffiti board and drag it to another position. Click the brush to clear the graffiti content. Click the paint bucket to quickly fill the graffiti board with the background color. Click create to create a new graffiti board. Click the brush to start drawing. Click the eraser to erase the drawing. The third icon is for adjusting the thickness of the brush and eraser. The fourth icon is for selecting the brush color. Such as orange color. The above content is about graffiti board. This chapter is about how to control fixtures. We already patched some beam and power lights. Select beam lights. Press locate button to light up fixtures. If a fixture doesn't turn on when we press the locate button, first check whether the master fader is pulled down. The master fader needs to be kept pushed to the top. The build button also needs to keep the green light on all the time. This row is the attribute column of the fixture, such as dimming, position, gobo, color, and so on. We need to switch to the corresponding attributes before controlling the fixture. For example, click position attribute. Before control the pattern and tilt position of the fixture, we can adjust perm, tilt, size speed under positions attribute, encoder ABCD. These for encoders correspond to the attributes of these for grids, respectively, such as pan to encoder, tilt to encoder B, rotating encoder B to adjust fixture's tilt position, rotating encoder A to adjust fixture's pan position. The three vertical lines in front of the attribute represent the rotating speed of the encoder gear. If we turn the rotating speed to one gear, rotating encoder be to adjust fixtures tail position, we will find that the fixtures will change position very slowly. So one gear for fine tuning is fine, but the normal speed is the gear. Rotating encoder be to adjust fixtures tail position, we will find that the fixtures will change position quickly. The red dot indicates that the current attribute has been activated. Green or white dot indicates that the current attribute is not activated yet. Just slightly rotating the corresponding encoder and the attribute will be activated immediately. Click the value layer to switch to the effects layer. In the effects layer state, even return the attribute encoder and the attribute value does not change at all. Using encoder to adjust the attribute parameters, which must be operated at the value layer, and numerical value. Must be link a single attribute. Press clear, clear, clear. Let's select power light. Press locate button to light up. How to adjust the color of power light? Click color attribute. We can quickly color the power light. There is a special dialog box here in the lower right corner. We can pick up the color blocks of power light directly. We'll click on this color flash. Here we can choose the color I wish. Click color preset for quick color selection. The quick color selection function in the special dialog box is only for power lights. The beam light does not have RGB attributes, so this function cannot be used. Quick cutting light control. Here we can quickly make cutting shapes. The above content is about how to control some common lighting fixtures.